It says stop in for a red light here. That's because those people have a doorbell? Oh, that's getting way <laughs> too close. <laughs> Why are you pulling into someone's garage? This is someone's private property. Oh no, oh no. Oh, oh no. my God. God. I'm just gonna hit this car. Oh, no, I decided to go right, even though the exit's that way. Today, I'm here to show you the reality of Tesla full self-driving version 12.3. To do this, we're going to San Francisco to see how well it handles Vermont Street. We're gonna first start in the Whole Foods parking garage and see if it can get us out of the garage. And after that, we're gonna go all the way to Vermont Street, which is about five blocks over, to see how it handles the curviest and windiest road in San Francisco. We saw this on version 11 and it handled it pretty well. So let's see how much better version 12 is or isn't based off the montage you just saw. All right guys, so we are now in the Tesla. We're in the Whole Foods parking garage. So I'm gonna go ahead and activate full self-driving to see how well it does to get us out of the parking garage and to Vermont Street, which is one of the curviest roads in San Francisco. So there is a car in front of us who is parking and a couple pedestrians, but it's doing a good job at waiting for those people to park and get out of the way. There's a car coming in, okay. Let's see how well it does with this car coming in. It looks like it's gonna pause here and wait. Oh, no, it decided to go right, even though the exit's that way. So let's see what it does to get us out of this parking structure. Up here on the left is additional parking, so hopefully it doesn't go to the back of the parking lot. Okay, turn the right blinker on, which is really good. So it's gonna try and leave the exit one more time. I'm not sure why it's blinker on inside a parking lot. Possibly. I do know they don't claim for it works underground garages, but this garage isn't technically underground. It does have stuff above us, but, but we are on the ground level. Got a lot of pedestrians here that's mitigating very well. We got a truck trying to enter. Let's see what happens here. Let's see. So it's going to try and go around him. I'm going to hit the accelerator a little bit here. And it's just gonna go ahead in the loop. The exit's to our left. The problem is, is that these people keep coming in and they're not giving us any room to go around them. And so the Tesla thinks that it's a one way or something. It's something that a human can figure out. A human can very easily figure this out. So I'm not sure why FSD can't. So we'll go back around. We'll probably see that truck again. Oh, now it's gonna go left. And now we're stuck. So I'm gonna take, oh. All right, so now we are back. We've turned the car around. We're still in the same garage. As you can see right in front of us, it does say exit is to our right. So let's see how well Tesla does to get out of here. Oh God, it's getting really close to that wall there. But it eventually does it. Hopefully it goes to the right here because if it goes to the right, it can easily get out. Okay, here comes the truck. Let's see if it... Okay, I'm gonna have to take over so that way this truck can get over. Okay, so I'm just gonna wait here until there literally is no cars coming. Oh God, now there's this car backing out. They just nearly hit us. I guess Tesla and humans can't drive. All right, so now it needs to go left. It's going right. All right, so now let's reactivate FSD now that we've given it the way to go. And now let's see how well it does to get us from the parking lot of Whole Foods to Vermont Street, which is one of the curviest roads. Now the Porsche to our left does have its blinker on, so we can go. They're waving to let us go. So it does a really good job of getting out of the parking lot once it did eventually find the exit. I think that garage situation might be the most unsafe I've ever felt inside of FSD. It's same. I've never had that much anxiety on the, on the software. I almost got hit like six times in this <laughs> I've been hit more hits than all right, I said the speed limit's at five miles an hour. It thinks that this road, and now we have five cars behind us. It thinks the speed limit's five miles an hour. Lots of cars behind us. Um, I'm hitting the accelerator. I'm gonna have to hit this accelerator. All right, and when I let off, it just tries to slow down. Why is it going five miles an hour into 25? All right, I'm off the accelerator now. Let's see if it changes. Now that it goes to a new road, it should get a new mile per hour sign based off of GPS data. And just like that, it's still going five miles an hour. Why, why is version 12.3 have so many issues? This is unbelievable. If we go to autopilot, we should be able to come here and turn off automatic set speed. I am paying attention. And yeah, now I can set the speed limit way higher. So I'll set it to 30. 
Do we have to make a left hand? Right, we have to go straight here. All right. This Tesla is very confused. So now that I've manually set the speed, it is going above the five mile an hour speed limit that for some reason FSD believes this road is. We have the right way here, so we're gonna go. And one complaint and one thing I have noticed about FSD 12 is that it does do a pretty good job in most of the cases, uh, such as like right here where this guy's doing such a weird maneuver and yet it did see him and slowed down and let him just go around us. Uh, however, when it comes to speed, it, it goes very slow. It really likes to take its time. I think it does so because it's trying to be safe, but it does annoy a lot of people behind us. That's what I have noticed on 12.3. And to be fair, just even so far, I feel like we've been in such a weird, like other drivers have been doing crazy stuff. Yeah, humans like aren't, that, yeah. What was that moped guy doing? Like, exactly. What, <laughs> what purpose did that serve? Humans honestly aren't any better. So when Elon says FC drives like a human, yeah, maybe he's right, because the humans we saw today yeah. drive horribly. So now you see here on the GPS data, it says that we are gonna go straight through the windy bits. Last time when we did version 11 to try to make a left-hand turn here and avoid this area. So let's see, so it did stop for that stop sign. Again, version 11 ran that stop sign. So, so far it's already doing a much better job at Vermont Street. We're gonna pretend for a moment that the Whole Foods thing did not happen. So there's this little entry spot for Vermont Street. A human would have already driven through here and known they could have driven. Tesla seems to be confused indeed. So it's not doing anything, it's been a while. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hit the, oh, I accidentally hit the brakes. All right, I'm gonna hit the accelerator here to tell it that it can go. And now it does know it can go. So now it's starting to do Vermont Street. And again, I have to say, similar to our Lombard video, it's already doing a great job at keeping its wheels away from the curb. As you can see in our top down view, as we all know, I do enjoy my rims. However, yeah, this is doing a really good job, except for right there as I say that, why are you pulling into someone's garage? This is someone's private property. We're now in their driveway and it pulled into here thinking that this was okay, which is, believe it or not, version 11 did this absolutely flawlessly. Version 11 did this perfectly, this, this little curvy road. So that's interesting that version 12.3 was unable to do it. So let's go ahead and put it back into drive and turn on FSD. Oh, that's getting way that too so close. close. Now your destination Hard brakes right there. It's not doing the best job, but it's entertaining nonetheless. I'm not entertained. You're not entertained? I'm not entertained. <laughs> oh no, this is gonna be really tight. Is it gonna hit that back right ram or is it gonna hit this car? Okay. Oh, it did a, it, it squeezed itself through. It still thinks it's a five mile an hour road. That is something I think is very fascinating. It thinks that this is a five mile an hour. It's actually a 15. All right, so as we saw on version 12, it kind of had a hiccup there by going into someone's driveway and it was a little hesitant to even start that drive in the beginning because I didn't think that that was a road. Whereas on the contrary, version 11 handled that perfectly. It went down very smoothly. It kept equal distance from the curbs, whereas version 12 did kind of get close to one of those little walls and curbs as well. So I will say that version 12 down Vermont Street so far has a lot more anxiety when driving than version 11. That doesn't mean that all driving though on V12 will be exactly like that. So with that, let's run that back one more time and see if it does try to go in that driveway a second time or if that just happened to be a one-off. Let's begin. So we should be able to pull left out of this parking spot, hopefully. And it does a good job pulling out of this parking spot. See, it does some things rather well, but on the other hand, you have to be vigilant because it makes mistakes in other capacities. So now that we have turned off FSD and came back, the speed limit sign has now updated and it has been corrected. So hopefully that might make mean that this works now. Maybe there was something going on in the last run. So again, that's why we do this twice. Oh, oh, okay. So after about what, 12, 15 seconds, it started to get the confidence to go. It was about 15 seconds and it was doing a weird thing like where you could hear it almost try to go. All right, again, it does the beginning part, like this first turn, well again, just like the last run where the first turn was good. But hopefully all the others 
will be just as good as this one, and not like the last run. It, did you see that? It's, it says it's stopping for a red light here. Oh, it's because those people have a, a, like a doorbell? I mean, yeah, that looks, that looks like the fire alarm. That looks like the San Francisco Police Department yeah, fire like... alarm. And it thinks it's mistaking these two fire alarms for a red light that are on these people's garage door. That's hilarious. How the how the rims looking, Carlos? Oh no! Oh no! Oh, oh no, my gosh. God! Why did it do that? Oh my God! I like how it accelerated too. It accelerated. <laughs> Well, it didn't wow. go into the driveway. It didn't go into the driveway. It tried to just go into the wall instead. Wow. wow. That's a pretty visible wall. Hey, but wow. there's some damage. It looks like some other people have hit that. Yeah, that would have been a, maybe a total. They could have totaled the car, possibly. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, oh, no. oh my God. God. All right. Yeah. Well, like any good Tesla, though, we're going to restart it. Let's see. Let's see if it can get us to the bottom of the hill. But that does not give me confidence whatsoever with version 12.3 <laughs> and again it's getting really close to this wall right here way too close for for human comfort on that wall i think that was actually better than the first time though it was better than the first time the but the first it, time it was inches but version 11 did this phenomenally like did this great oh, yeah now your destination is version 12 though definitely has gone backwards for this road yeah oh, it gets way too close Okay, okay. All right, all right, all right. I do not have any trust in this thing. No. All right, well, thank you guys so much for joining us with FSD Beta 12.3 on Vermont Street, where we have learned that apparently version 12 has actually gone slightly or dramatically backwards compared to version 11 on that road, where one, it confuses fire alarms for red lights, it confuses a driveway for a drivable road, and it tried to blatantly just crash my car into a cinder block wall. So with that, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll do more of these FSD videos. Let us know what routes you want to see us testing in the comments down below, and we'll see you next time. Thank you guys so much. Goodbye.